Right, um, you all know me, um, I like my comforts. Um, we've got a bed here, it's got a mattress here, a mattress topper, a nice comfy memory foam pillow, and we're very comfortable generally, generally in our bed. So when someone sent me this, said stops condensation, it's a dry mat, uh, it's for a company called Shipshape, it protects your mattress and cushions, prevents condensation, restricts damp, mould, mildew and musty odour, it's quick and easy to fit and it performs better than slats. I thought actually <laughs> I wasn't sure that I, I needed this product but I thought well, I'd have a look at it anyway because I, I actually saw it in the MMM magazine a couple of months ago and uh, someone there was using it because they had a bed that was made up of slats like I'll show you in a minute um, but they only had a very thin mattress on it and what they said was they could feel all the slats underneath and they bought this simply for that idea that it would improve the comfort of their bed. So I can't actually test whether this stops condensation, so that, that's my first disclaimer here. But I can check uh, if it does help with comfort um, with these slats. So when, that, when would it help people with condensation then? Would it help com condensation if you've got... Um, uh, the, the example I can give you is where you've got single beds like this, but they're above a garage. And what's happened there is that you get, you've got a flat board where the mattress sits on the board and you get cold from coming coming up in the garage, warm inside, and that creates condensation, and people report having uh, condensation problems, and mold problems under their, under their mattresses. So um, there's a couple of people I, I know of that have had that problem, and this has been suggested as a, as a solution to that. So if you've got that, that problem, maybe you want to check this yourself, but I, I can't test that. What I can test is whether this works uh, to make slatted beds more comfortable. So let's have a look at that. So, so these are the slats I'm talking about. As you can see, they're put in there for lightness, and if you've got a mattress on top of it, it's not a problem. Let's have a look what happens though if you put a, a mattress on top of that. Nope. And it also does that if I haven't got a mattress on it. <laughs> so now what I've done is I've just put the mattress topper on top of the slats. And that is the situation a few people will actually have. They may have slightly thicker mattress than this, but not much. This is memory foam, so it's fairly indicative of what you might get on that sort of bed. So let's have a lie down and see what it looks like. All right, let's see what this is like. I can, I can already feel the, the ridges there. Have a look. It's not bad, not bad. I think I tend to sleep on my side though, so. Yeah, and it's quite hard, I suppose. You can, you can feel the lumps through there at each, each of the places. But yeah, I wouldn't say it's uncomfortable, I suppose. I'd have to stay here for about eight hours, wouldn't I, really, to test this. <laughs> right, so I'll see you later then. Yeah. Right, let's have a look inside the packet. I haven't opened this yet, obviously, so I have no idea what's inside. Right. Let's get it feels, feels a bit like netting. And it's springy. Do you, do you see that? Sort of fairly sort of springy. Like double, like a double sandwich, isn't it? Okay, I wonder if it. It says you can fit this in five minutes. So I suppose it's supposed to be two meters long. Yeah, so it should be reasonably easy to, to fit. Okay, let's have a look what the instructions say. the mattress and place the dry mat directly onto the bed base, draw the outline onto the dry mat with a marker pen, remove the dry mat and cut with a good pair of kitchen scissors. So 
where it says about an inch bigger all round, otherwise cut to exact size. And you might have to sweep up afterwards. And you can see it's like it's like a sandwich layer, so it's quite interesting. So fun and games I'm going to have is that this thing keeps springing up. <laughs> to, to want to, I want, yeah, like that. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to get someone to put their foot on it, and I'll I'll mark round it. Look at that. Poppy can sit on it. <laughs> Sit down, Just put your foot on that. That's it. Right, so to get a rock up in, so I've got a monk up in here. Okay. I'm not doing this very accurately, I don't think, but I think you'll see. I've left a bit of a gap. I've left a bit of a gap. <laughs> because the other bit's gone down the edge there. And I've got a bit too much at that end. I'm going to have to stop there because I can't get any further. Let's pull that back a bit. So I've left it, can you see I've put some extra down there. So I'll carry on along there. I think because you, you'll see when you're cutting through the, the holes that it should be fairly easy to cut. Right. I'm not the best DIYer here, as you can probably spot, but I suppose if I can do it, <laughs> if I can do it, anyone can do it. So let's try and cut on the inside of that. It's quite tough to cut. I suppose it means it's fairly well made. Try and stay to the line. Right, so we've got it. I've got it loosely laid over the top. I've tucked it down the edges down here, and uh, down at that end there is quite a loose bit. But I'm going to leave that because that gap's always there. So let's put the mattress on top of that. I think if I. This permanent. I think I put a blanket or something just to cover it over there because the um, the memory foam topper is a bit shorter than the, a bit narrower than the bed as you can see so let's have a see if that sort of difference that's made There's definitely more mattress there. It's like you're on a bigger mattress. It's still firm, but I can't feel only if I press really hard there. I can't feel I think that's pretty comfortable. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Yeah, I can't I can't feel the slats. No. It's hard like you say. Yeah, I think because we're used to sleeping on a, a mattress, aren't we? Yeah, but you think if that was in a drop-down bed or something like that, you you could sleep on that. Yeah, because you probably would have some extra thicker mattress, wouldn't you? Slightly. Well, yeah, this is a very thin mattress. It's very isn't thin, it? but I, I yeah. honestly can't feel the slats through it. I thought no. I would. No. Yeah. I was just thinking when we had that drop-down bed in the Bailey. Yeah. We had those foley, foley springs, springs yeah, yeah, and I could always feel like I was in yeah. a hammock or something with those. So yeah, yeah, it, yeah, I think what it does is it spreads the weight of it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it is hard, but it's it's not because you can feel the slats. No, and I think it feels it's solid. quite an unfair test, I think, really, because this memory foam is just a memory topper, isn't it? It's only about yeah, it it's only that thick. Less than an I inch mean, it's thick, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and uh, if you. Okay, so it is from a company called. Let's see that I've got a thing in the way. Ship Shape, 
and it, they do mattresses and cushions as well for motorboats and yachts shaped bedding so they do all sorts of different bedding and uh, it, this is the dry mat um, we're talking about here does that help dry mat and protects your cushions by stopping build up it says damp quick and easy to fit performs better than slats right uh, I made myself all hot and bothered <laughs> in here but it, it it literally did take five minutes and I'm no DIY expert and did manage to cut that reasonably straight and uh, yeah so it's under there so if you only have a thin mattress yeah it's a good idea yeah oh I think I need to lie down now <sighs> Because the other thing I've realised is that you can, if you've got a mattress cover, you can actually tuck it inside the mattress cover. So you can have it sort of under the mattress. So I'm going to leave that on, even though I don't need it. Mm. See how we get on. You can never have too much, too much comfort. No. Yeah. Actually, I think it makes even more difference with the mattress on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just leave me here. Yeah, okay. Alright, see you later then. See you then. Yeah. One thing they do warn you is that when you cut the, the mattress it does leave little uh, you can see them little fibres. So I'm gonna have to get the get the vacuum cleaner in here. Yeah, the literature says that you can fit the, fit it a bit more permanently if you um If you staple it to the uh, to the slats, I won't. I won't do that now. I won't staple it to the slats, but uh, we will. We'll, we will test it. it. Does actually. It's, it's difficult to to explain, but it does feel like you've got a bit more mattress under there. So it's got to help if you've got a thin mattress. Um, we were just looking at the the literature that they've got here, and they, they do all sorts of things like. Galleyware, galleyware. So there's a lot of crossover, isn't yeah, there, between yeah. boats and motorhomes yeah. and shaped bedding for mo motorboats and yachts. They ought to add motorhomes. I'm sure they could do that. Yeah. And they also do mattresses and cushions, so they could probably make mattresses for you. Yeah. So there is a lot of crossover with the um, the boat industry. Um, anyway, if you like what you see, remember to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and hit the bell icon as well and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Mm -hmm.